Ja, Leute, willkommen zurück zu Killer Frequency. Oh, man, it was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. And now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Oh shit. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. I never locked the door, at least I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back and find your keys? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Look, I don't know a thing about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't... Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Okay, wow, jetzt kann ich sogar noch das Büro verlassen. Also den Sender erkunden. Geil ist das denn bitte? Die Toiletten. So many locked doors, so few keys. Alter. Die Frage ist, wie viel Zeit habe ich denn hier, um mich umzusehen? Ich habe ja gesehen, es gibt auch gesammelte Schallplatten und gesammelte Schlüssel. Creepy Hour. A creepy hour. Äh. Was? Vorläufige Bewertung. Äh. Was? Chalu. Chalupa Cabra, Bradley Carter. Die Geschmacksprofile von Chalupa Cabra sind die besten in der Stadt. Da sind sich alle einig. Obwohl der El Diablo Burrito recht teuer ist und keine Angebote umfasst, bietet er das beste Mundgefühl und die Huevos Rancheros sind einmalig. Zum hundertsten Mal, das ist ein Audiomedium. Die Leute sehen das Ei in einmalig nicht, Idiot. Das Grilling Spree nehme ich mal mit. Seht da was? FM. Was Zwillinge? Ich habe mir eure Zeitschrift über Wagendiebstahl ausgeliehen. Irgendwas an den Huevos Rancheros habe ich wohl nicht vertragen. Ich brauche was zu lesen. Betet für mich. Oh nein, der hat das Ding mit auf die Toilette genommen. Bitte was? Ne. Adult? Roller Rickys Roller Rink. Okay, dann gehen wir mal schnell auf die Toilette und gucken, ob 
der die Zeitschrift da abgelegt hat. Das ist die Damentoilette, ne? Oh. Das looks useful. Alles in Gang bringen. Oh mein Gott. Schritt 1. Schraubenzieher als Schlüssel benutzen. Bei Fehlschlag Schritt 2. Lenksäulenabdeckung entfernen. Schritt 3. Seriennummer überprüfen. Dann folgende Drähte entmanteln und verdrillen. Wenn in der Zahl eine 4 vor einer 3 und keine 7 vorkommt, rot und blau. Wenn die Zahl eine 6 enthält und nicht mit einer 5 beginnt, grün und braun. Wenn am Ende eine 0 steht und keine 3 vor einer 6 steht, rot und gelb. Alter. Schritt 4. Nun das violette Kabel abmanteln. Den stromführenden Draht nicht berühren. Schritt 5. Streiche... Streichen Sie das violette Kabel gegen die verdrillten Drähte aus Schritt 3. Hinweise. Sollte sich das Radio ein und nicht wieder ausschalten lassen, schneiden Sie das linke rosafarbene Kabel durch. Schneiden Sie nicht die anderen rosafarbenen Drähte durch, sonst wird der Alarm ausgelöst. Oh shit. Wenn der Alarm erklingt, schneiden Sie das dreifach geflochtene grüne Kabel durch. Nicht das doppelt geflochtene grüne Kabel oder das vierfach geflochtene grüne Kabel. Das würde die Elektronik stören. Ach, wenn es sonst nichts ist. Okay, krass. Dann werde ich erstmal schnell das Tape ablegen. Sie ruft bestimmt auch gleich wieder an, oder? Baum Riders. Nee, noch nicht. Die Musik ist auch super unangenehm hier draußen. Der wird ein Spender. Vertigo, die alone. Oder died alone. Not getting in there tonight. Das. Oh mein Gott. Das wird ja spaßig. Sind hier? Äh, die Gallows Reporter, Ausgabe Nummer 17, tägliche News für Gallows Creek. Die CG High gewinnt im Spitzenspiel. Hier aber gar nichts. Dream. Hat übrigens nichts mit dem Film zu tun. Rezeption. Weil der heißt ja Stab und nicht Scream, ne? Bei uns. Also bei uns heißt das Scream und der Originaltitel ist Stab und den gab es ja damals noch nicht in den 80ern. Das ist aus den 90ern. Wenn das alle noch. Hier noch irgendwas, bevor ich jetzt zurückgehe. Ich finde es auf jeden Fall richtig cool. Das heißt, wenn ich es richtig anstelle, kann ich vielleicht das Leben der Frau jetzt retten. Und sie kann nicht kommen. Vielleicht schaffe ich es ja den Killer aufzuhalten und er kann dann gar nichts machen. Habe ich denn Quick Save? Nee. Ich werde mal speichern. So. Finden Sie etwas, womit Sandra ihr Auto ohne Schlüssel starten kann? Wie sieht's aus? You find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk. Wir retten sie. Frag mit der Mama auf das Lenkrad. Schraub die Lenksäule ab. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Schraub die Lenksäule ab. Unscrew the steering column. Jazz breathing, don't panic. Ich bin voll einfühlsam. Okay. We can do this. There's 
a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Uh. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Warte, 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 wenn am Ende... 576-894-320. Das heißt, wenn eine Zahl 3 hier vor einer 3 und keine 7 vorkommt. Das erste ist es nicht, weil eine 7 ist dabei. Wenn die Zahl eine 6 enthält und nicht mit einer 5 beginnt, tut sie aber. Wenn am Ende eine 0 steht und keine 3 oder 6... Ja. Das letzte. Wenn am Ende eine 0 steht und keine 3 vor einer 6 steht. Sendepause. Oh nein, reagieren nach 30 Sekunden. Dann rot und gelb. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Alright. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Warte, äh, das violette Kabel anmanteln und streiche es gegen die... Streife es gegen die vertretenen Kabel. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... Woohoo! And it just got body! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Wow, ich habe sie echt gerettet. Uh, das war sehr gut. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here Red comes another hit stirbt. track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to... Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll Meine ride Güte. with Aber geiles Spiel. the Glam Jam. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or hell. Ich glaube, Chicago will man auch nicht sein. Well, I like it here. People are polite and. Oh, uh, Arbeitslosenquote. Ask backwards. Don't be awful for us. Ask backwards. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Mm -hmm. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Ich auch für. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 12:42. Ey, die Zeit müsste auch hinkommen mit dem, was ich spiele. Caller on line one. Also 0:42, ne? Ist es? Evening, Natürlich. Caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Sehr schön. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza. Here Dial. at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. 
That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. Because we're always running great deals that'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Das ist ja nur der Sheriff tot. Wahrscheinlich hätten wir noch ein paar mehr Tote verursachen können. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I Immer netter. just hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop, bro. Peggy, hang up on him. Alter. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Sure. Soll ich denn für eine abspielen? America. Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? <laughs> Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. Alter. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day. And Your home runs at I'm Spiel, huh? Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am 911, at least for tonight, anyway. Damn it, son! I don't care who you are. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teens. They get worse every year. Uh, this 
punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Ich find's ganz kurz. Die Übersetzung ist leider nicht so gelungen, was die Witze angeht, weil eben hieß es, äh, er war noch nicht irgendwie ein Gedanke der Enttäuschung und eigentlich hat er gesagt, er war noch nicht mal ein Zwinkern der Enttäuschung im Auge seines Vaters. Auf Englisch. Fand ich viel besser, das hätten sie eigentlich gut übersetzen können, aber naja. So ist es nun mal. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions? So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that That's to be successful, idea. you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. It's an Aufschneider. Sind jetzt gefaxt oder was? You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Don't. Down. Was? Jetzt zu erledigen? Ja, das Faxgerät. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Hab's doch gewusst. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must yeah. be it. Uh, Durchfall 1, 2, also Archiv ist 1, Küche ist die 2, Arbeitskabine gleich rechts von der Küche, Redakteursbüro ist Durchfall 3, Geheimarchiv mit Redakteursbüro verbunden, Konferenzraum, das ist Fax, und Büroräume gleich links vom Ho äh, Konferenzraum. Okay, ich speichere nochmal. Sicher ist sicher, ne? So. Hey, did you get the fax? Ja. Ah? Yes, I have. Hab's verloren. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. Get my fax? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It 
It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh... The boardroom? Konferenzraum? Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. The boardroom? Don't be a horse's ass! Forrest, this is no time for jokes. Where should I call? Ach, er ist im Boardroom, stimmt ja. Äh, ruf in der Küche an. Call the kitchen, the extension is 02. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. Alright, Nash. Where do I need to go? Gehen Sie... ...zum Archiv? You're moving to the archives. The archives? That's just across from the kitchen. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! Chill doch mal jetzt. Uh, gehen Sie... Uh, on second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy! We're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to change our minds again. Where do you want me to call? Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Bitte? You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then. My move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll oh, make well, it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly. Or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret Cubicles, I got through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in that room? 
Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. Radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Das wird er jetzt so lang brauchen. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Is that ads? We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Na klar. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Eh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait! Ah, oh, god damn it! If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just. Oh, that's a good point. Get off unsere Frequenz to Depp. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? 189.16, The Scream. Gallows Creek's the best scream. and only phone-in talk show so with me. Force Nash. And me, Peggy. Das ist Spaß, ich mag Kopf. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Und damit war aber Schluss, Leute. Es ist sehr spannend und geht auch so weiter. Ja, was? Ich hab. Achso, das Tape zählt gar nicht zu den Schreiben. Egal. Auf jeden Fall danke ich euch fürs Zusehen, fürs Liken und Kommentieren. Wir sehen uns wieder zu Killer Frequency. Danke fürs Unterstützen. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.